Previously on the Airsoft Mike YouTube channel. The trouble I had getting this in the UK, it was absolutely ridiculous. Look, look, the home office UK border force was all over it. Ooh. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am laughing because I made a mistake. I made a mistake in my previous video. I called it a Gen 2. No! I called it the second attempt. No! I called it the second version. No! No! This is another Airsoft Mic production. This, my Airsoft friends, is even better than the second version. Because this is version 3, the third batch. Not two? What was I thinking? <laughs> no, son. Right, so what I'm going to do, forget everything I said, well, not absolutely everything I said, in the now deleted video that I had up before, forget what I said about the order of things I'm going to do. I did say video number two would be me showing you the differences between this new version and the version that was giving people problems in the past. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to completely do everything in this one video, okay? So, what I want to do first, get this out of the way, because I know this is what most of you have come back here for, or the new ones who are watching this for the first time. I'm going to show you around this beautiful piece, then I'm going to do an accuracy test and a chrono test, but not in that order. Right now, let's get into this beauty! Now, Northeast being Northeast Airsoft, you know when they make something, the way it looks is going to be absolutely legit. Remember the couple of stains I did? Yes. So it goes without saying, this entire thing... Okay, we're not talking about this extra kit that we've got in there at the moment. I'm not talking about that. Just keep in mind the original configuration. That comes with the original charging handle, the original stock, the original foregrip. So I am talking about it in its original look, which I will revert this back to at some point. Don't you worry about that. Even though I think this is super cool. Some people think it's ugly. Doesn't matter because not everything is for everyone. Okay? Right, now, this entire thing is made out of steel. So far, from what I can see and tell and what I've read, the only thing that isn't made out of steel is the breech block and the barrel base, okay? Those are aluminium or aluminum. But everything else is steel. Now, I would use a magnet to show this, but the last time I used a magnet to show steel parts on an airsoft piece, I got criticised. People were jumping in the comments saying, uh, 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 uh. Well, they wasn't doing those noises. They were saying, not everything that's magnetic is steel. Duh! Didn't you go to school? Damn! Of course I know that! But it's just a good way to sh- Anyway, I saw somebody else's video on a similar piece that I had reviewed. They did the same thing and not one comment in the comment section was criticising them for using a magnet. But you see me? I get treated differently! But, 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 you're- <laughs> Anywho, what I love about this are the authentic markings. Come on, would you look at that. Decent. Not a single mention of the hobby we love. <laughs> okay, and then we get to the actual selector switch. To the uneducated in German language. That says DES, okay? D-E-S. Obviously, the other way around, S-E-D, that's safe, semi, full. But now, you know I like to attempt things I'm not normally <laughs> familiar with. Um, apparently, I say Bundeswehr quite well. So let's try this now. What is this in German? S. Sicher. Sicher. Or Sicher. Sicher. Anyway. And then E. <coughs> la 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 la. <coughs> Anselfeuer. Anselfeuer. I hope that's correct. Right. <laughs> For continuous. Full auto, dawa foyer, dawa foyer. Right, as we move along, you have your swivel swing point right there. No, even though it looks like it, it's not a QD, okay? It's not a quick detach. And then we get to this very authentic looking grip, grip safety, and your mag release. And let me tell you this right now, everything on here functions exactly as it's supposed to, okay? It even looks exactly as what it's supposed to look, which is a cheap bit of plastic. 
But that's exactly <laughs> how it looks on the real deal. But to be fair, I've heard a lot of people say this, but no, it looks like a decent bit of plastic to me. <laughs> and then don't get me started on the mag. Woohoo! Come on. Now clearly I wouldn't have the real one here, so <laughs> But I do have the internet, I do watch movies, and I can read, okay? And from what I can see, this bad boy is identical to the real deal. Apart from the obvious differences, yeah, all the airsoft bits and bobs. But yeah, decent, and I've got two of these, nice. Right now, clearly, as you can see, and as I've said before, Northeast Airsoft has sent me the fancy version, okay? The fancy version with all the nice kit on there, makes it look a bit more modern. It makes you basically be able to put more bits and bobs on there, make it more tactical. However, some of you purists out there, I've already seen it, don't really like all of that. But for now, it's on there, and I really need to tell you about it because obviously it's not just there for looks. Quite clearly, you know, having a rail, you know what you can put on there. However, this kit also has this stock adapter. Now, as you can see, it's got a little bit of a rail right there, but the whole purpose for this, apart from it also having your QD sling point, is that you're able to use aftermarket stocks. And then, of course, the relocation of the charging handle being on the side means it is now ambidextrous. Now, technically, the one on top is also ambidextrous, the original one, <laughs> but with this cool tactical addition, this can be moved to the other side. Now, before I move on, there's something else I'm gonna tell you about this rail, which is very cool, and there's more to this rail than meets the eye. Now, apart from the cutouts that you've got here, which all helps to reduce the weight, and trust me when I say, everything to reduce the weight on this bad boy can only be a good thing. Now if that doesn't tell you there's some serious bit of kit in this box, I don't know what will. Now, apart from these cutouts, they've actually hollowed it out underneath. Right there, look, you see that? That enables you to continue using your iron sights because your little peepholes on the iron sights actually look straight down this hole to the very front. You see that? That port right there, you can see that from the rear hole that I just showed you, that sounds wrong, and that looks straight onto the front post. Nice. You also have a very tactical looking M-Lock handguard with all your markings down there. But again, if you don't want your piece to be saying all of that on there, all of that on there, it can all come off. Stop complaining. <laughs> Right, I'm almost ready to put it through the chrono machine and a little accuracy test and have a look at some of that full auto goodness. But let's have a quick look on the other side. Okay, zoom in. So on this side, there's less to see. However, I can show you some bits that I could have shown you on the other side, but I'll just show you now. So <laughs> you've got your barrel, you've got your barrel nut. You've also got right here your barrel retaining nut catch. I'm not gonna do it now, but if you wanted to take this bad boy down, you'd be pressing this in right here. It's quite stiff. And of course, right here, you got your bolt, your receiver, your receiver cover, and I'm loving how authentic this looks. This looks pretty awesome. And of course, your bog standard trigger right there. I say bog standard because that's exactly how it is on the real deal. Ah, do you know what? I can't pretend anymore. I'm not gonna go through this whole video without taking it back to the original. Come on, look at that bad boy. That's exactly what I want. So yes, I actually whipped off the, the kit, which again, I think is very cool, but come on. Especially for me, with my whole movie making thing and props and stuff, we all want that iconic look, come on. I mean, how many movies and shows has this bad boy been in? Uzi 9mm. But as you can see, I've put the original stock back on and it looks smexy. Come on. <laughs> now, who doesn't want to do that when deploying this stock? Oh, look at this bad boy. Come on. Ah, and look, as much as I love that modernized kit, nothing beats this knob. And of course, now that I've got the original stock back on, you've got a sling point right there. Right now, when it's on safe, 
that won't move. Very nice. Take it off. Come on! The bolt is now completely open and if you take a closer look, oh, you could probably get to your hop adjustment there. No, what you've got to do, <sighs> mag out. You press in this retention right here for the barrel nut. You unscrew said barrel nut. Remember, this is to do the hop up. <laughs> and then you pull out the barrel And it's right there, look. That's where you adjust your hop up. Right, let's get some gas in. I'm using green gas. Right, I've got the gas full of mag. No, what the hell? Right, I've got the mag full of gas and I've filled it with BBs. It's a 32 rounder. And by the way, as we're looking at the mag, that little switch right there is to activate or deactivate the bolt stop. <laughs> right, excitement overload. Okay, let's get the mag in. I am not left-handed, but for the purpose of this angle and me filming, it's in me left hand. Oh, oh. Now, first things first, got to take this bad boy off safe. Oh my gosh, that is stiff. But I suppose that will loosen up after a few battles on the airsoft field or in one or two movies. Now, this is what I want. Not this side Ujima flips. I want this on top. Come on! Did you see that? Okay, and look, you can see the first BB waiting to leave the barrel. Oh! Feels really weird holding it in my left hand. Oh, okay. That was nice and crisp. I must admit though, I was expecting a harder kick from this thing. But anyway, nice and crisp. Let's just do that one more time before I chrono it. Ooh. Right, who's gonna have a quick guess at what the first one is gonna read at? Here we go. Got my eye protection on. 299.2 and that I am happy with. Now you might be thinking, huh? No, don't go, huh? I am happy because I know this bad boy generally out of the box is a lot more hotter than that. This is, for me, this is good if you're gonna use this in gameplay. Now it's gas, so it's probably gonna start going up or down from this point onwards or stay around that 300 mark. And there you have it. I'm gonna be generous and say, you're gonna get around the 300 mark if you're getting the UK version. Now, if you know what you're doing, there are ways to make this a lot hotter, but keep it legal though, if you're in the UK. Now, if you're in certain other countries, um, I believe like in, let me see, is it Hong Kong? And possibly America, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But <laughs> when you buy one of these bad boys, they will come out of the box slinging BBs through the chronograph of anything up to 4, 450 FPS. Right, I'm actually gonna do full auto on this one because the bolt isn't that heavy. So it really doesn't shake around or anything and there's no risk of me hitting or ricocheting off the edge there. All right, let's go full. <laughs> All right, so we're looking for about 12 per second. Oh, okay. <laughs> gosh I was not expecting that but again I must say the bolt in this thing isn't as heavy as say other gas blowbacks that I've had 
uh, even the other stems that I've had from Northeast felt a bit more heavier and meatier in terms of the weight of the bolt. However, what that means is less of a kick, less of a wobble, meaning accuracy is insane. Look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at that. Perfect, perfect. The groupings are delicious. <laughs> nice. And even on full auto, where you have to pray and spray, everything kept within that very small target area. Decent. Or is it spray and pray? Anyway, right. Those of you that know my setup know that I'm in a very small studio. There's a door that I have to walk through, go down the corridor to aim at the target system. No one's here today on the plot of land where my little studio is. So there's another door which I'm usually not allowed to go through. I'm gonna go through it so that I'm even further back from the target. And this is a first for this channel, apart from when you see me do ones outside. I've done one or two accuracy tests in a private, uh, on a private farm and in a field. But indoors, this is gonna be the furthest I'm gonna go back and we're gonna do the accuracy test again, just to be transparent. Excellent. So even when I go back that far, the accuracy of this thing is insane, but obviously, obviously not as good as when I was much closer. Now, you're probably wondering what sets version 3 apart from version 2 and 1. Well, the distance the bolt travels in this piece has been extended. Why did they do that? This is to decrease the rate of fire. Even though, in my uh, chrono test, it was pretty tasty. Also, they relocated the relative position of the chamber and bolt. They implemented a larger O-ring on the nozzle base. And they've totally upgraded and redesigned the nozzle base and nozzle valve. And for those of you airsofters that prefer CO2, Northeast Airsoft will be releasing an MP2A1 Pro Elite. Yes, sir. <laughs> with that one, it's gonna come with a steel bolt and a CO2 magazine. Come on. So there you go, people. This is the version three, not two, like I said before. Um, I reverted it back to its original state because it looks badass. And um, I like it a lot. Thank you, Northeast Airsoft. This is, to date, your best product yet. And that's saying something because I also own both of their stems. Da 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 Oh, this is plugged in, hang on. Please, sabarakarai, sarakap, whatever. Please, sarapakarai, 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 sar